Hi, this is Erin Harrison coming to you from IT Expo in Austin, Texas, and I'm joined today by Hugh Reese, who's the VP of Business Development for 8x8. Welcome, Hugh. Thank you very much. Thanks for being here. Um, so give us an overview of what 8x8 does, just for the viewers out there who, who aren't familiar. So 8x8 is uh, probably the original uh, hosted PBX uh, company. We started the uh, development of that technology in the 1998-1999 timeframe and launched it as service uh, as a uh, what we call virtual office in uh, 2004. So this is a cloud-based uh, service for hosted PBX services and we've expanded that over the years, uh, adding in um, what would be now called unified communications features uh, and we've added in uh, mobile and video features also. Um, and you're a keynote speaker at IT Expo. Give us some of the, the highlights of what you're going to be talking about. So um, my talk is focused on uh, unified communications and and where we are, uh, where we're at in terms of the market life cycle of unified communications and m my belief uh, that we are in, the, if you look at the sort of Jeffrey Moore classic uh, life cycle uh, chart, we're, we're firmly in the, in the chasm. Um, so we have not crossed the chasm into mass adoption of unified communications yet. And so the, the talk is really looking at why is that the case? Uh, what are the restraints that are holding back um, businesses from adopting unified communications? And what can we do as an industry to accelerate that, move it across the chasm as fast as possible uh, into what Jeffrey Moore calls the tornado, which is everything we want where we sort of every, everybody mass moves into using unified communications. And there's some ideas about you know, how, we, um, how we basically sell this um, to uh, end businesses in terms of, of letting them know that using unified communications uh, it will really improve their business productivity. So it improves their own bottom line um, uh, and top line. So uh, I think there's some, there's some messages there about how we do it and, and also some uh, what I would call the sort of definition of UC is, is a bit in disarray. People have different ideas about what UC really is. In fact, one of the best terms I saw um, on the internet was that UC actually stands for universal confusion as opposed to unified communications. And I think there's some, some truth to that. Um, and so I'm going to try and clarify some of those uh, points and issues in my uh, keynote speech. What is your definition of unified communications? So um, I used the definition that really came, uh, uh, that's currently on Wikipedia, although it was missing one very key feature. So it includes um, uh, all the sort of uh, features you think of, like presence, um, uh, I am, uh, uh, unified messaging, so you've got um, uh, all your uh, communications in one uh, inbox. Uh, and then the thing that, as I said, what, that was missing um, in the um, definition on Wikipedia was mobility. And I think you, mobility is actually a very key feature uh, of unified communications. And then a lot of those, the ones that I've just talked about there, are really aimed at the, at the end user, what UC Strategies calls UCU, which is uh, unified communications aimed at the end user. But there's also UCB, which is the business part of unified communications, which is integrating communications into the overall business processes. Um, that would be good examples of that would be integration with Salesforce.com or uh, with NetSuite or those kind of uh, enterprise CRM tools, for example. Okay, and that brings me to uh, another trend that's happening, which is the bring your own device phenomenon. And you guys are putting out an announcement around that. So tell us a little bit about that. Yes, yeah, so BYOD, or Bring Your Own Device, is um, uh, getting a lot of press right now. Um, and uh, certainly, uh, 8x8 is at the forefront of supporting um, mobile devices, which are the devices that people tend to bring. And uh, that would include, of course, the uh, iPhone, iPad, and Android uh, platforms. And what we're announcing um, this week is that uh, we've got a new version of our, what we call Virtual Office Mobile. Uh, which is the, um, the application that resides on, your, on these mobile devices. And we're adding in uh, some additional key uh, features that were missing from the first release that we did. Uh, we're adding in video, the ability to do video as part of your uh, communications. And um, uh, we're also uh, changing the, uh, the codec that we're using uh, inside the devices. Now, 
the reason that we're doing that is that traditionally for our, the devices that we support on the desktop that are wired, we've been using uh, G729A and um, uh, G722, which is the high definition audio codec. And we supported those same codecs on the mobile devices. But the issue with mobile devices is that they may be uh, in areas that have weak Wi-Fi signals or they may have poor 3G or 4G signals. And so we needed a, uh, a more resilient codec to um, poor network conditions and packet loss. So we have opted to uh, use the ILBC codec uh, in, these, in the new version of the mobile apps. Okay, and I know this announcement's just coming out, but looking ahead, what's next for 8x8? We're going to continue um, aggressively with uh, mobile um, development in particular because we see this, again, as a key part. In fact, uh, I think one of the statistics is that 84% uh, of businesses have something like 25% of their uh, users are mobile these days. So we've got um, a large portion now of, uh, of, of business users that are using mobile devices. So we're going to continue to aggressively support um, uh, mobile platforms. Um, we've been adding engineering resources in that area. Uh, the other area that we've been investing in is we made an acquisition last year. Uh, we acquired a company called Contactual. In fact, we announced it at this show last year. Um, we are very pleased with the integration with Contactual. This is a uh, hosted contact center or cloud contact center services. And we've been uh, also investing in engineering uh, resources uh, into uh, that platform and, and those services and integrating, it, of course, with the other 8x8 services. And so we're, uh, we'll be uh, announcing some additional features uh, with uh, new generations of that uh, platform over the next year. Okay, Hugh, as always, a pleasure. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Thanks.